Nigel Farage is joining us in a Fox Business exclusive. He, of course, the UK independent leader. And Nigel, we're going to keep the pictures up on the screen because it is a fast developing story. But yeah. what does this represent right now? Is this the death of Greece as a Eurozone nation? Because these protests are awfully frightening. I'm sure the people inside Parliament who are now in less than two hours going to vote on this know about what's going on. Uh, what is happening there is the death of democracy. Let's just get a handle on this. I know it's a business program, uh, but let's just think about the politics for a moment. Uh, just two weeks ago, the Greek people had a referendum to talk about, you know, the terms of their Euro membership. Uh, despite massive threats, you know, Eurocrats telling them if you vote no, the power supplies will fail, you'll all lose your jobs. The people said we don't care, and they voted no. Despite the fact they voted no, their own Prime Minister, who had called that referendum, was, as you said yourself in the introduction, effectively waterboarded in Brussels by the French and German leaders and has signed up to a package significantly more strict than the one the people said no to. Have a think about this. The reason democracy works is it acts as a safety valve. And if you take away from people the most powerful thing they possess in a free country, namely their ability through the ballot box mm -hmm. to change their destiny, if you take that away, then what are you left with other than civil disorder? Well, I am not in the least bit surprised oh, you're by not what's surprised. happening on the streets. I personally am not surprised. No. I got a sense that we would see civil unrest the closer that this got, especially yeah. considering you now have the Germans who are absolutely furious. Finland, you have certain factions of the government there who are very unhappy about this situation. Let us just let our catch our viewers up on what's going on here. There is outright violence going on outside the parliament in Greece, where in less than two hours, the parliament is to vote on that very severe anti-austerity plan, the very plan that the prime minister had urged his people to vote against, thinking that he could call some type of bluff, or uh, rather bluff, the rest of the European Union. Nigel, let me just say, the Greek parliament with 300 members, it appears that more than half of his own Syriza party for the prime minister are against this. Not all of them are voting members of parliament. Uh, there are 15 communist right. members who will vote. The Golden Dawn, I mean, there are all kinds of groups here. The independents have 13 votes. How do you think this vote is gonna go down? Ironic, isn't it, that the, the European project that was designed to bring the peoples of Europe together and give us a harmonious future uh, now sees in the Greek Parliament a party called Golden Dawn who were outright admirers of German fascism in the 1930s. It shows you how badly, how low things have sunk. I don't know what's going to happen in this vote, but I'll tell you this. Uh, Mr. Seatprouse is finished. He's finished because he marched his country up the hill. He said we're going to rebel. We're going to change the terms. And when he won the referendum, he backed down. I met him on the Wednesday after the vote on the Sunday. He looked a beaten man already. I can't predict tonight's result, but I can predict uh, that Seatprouse will not last long. If I was a member of the Greek Parliament, I tonight would vote against this package and I would advocate leaving the euro and going letting to the, the drachma, banks go bust. going back to the drachma. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go back to the drachma. Let the banks go bust. Yes, it'll mean a massive devaluation. OK, yes, let me jump in, in here term, and ask you this, it'll mean sir. Um, the UK involvement, yeah. of course, not a Eurozone currency member, but a European Union member. George Osborne yeah. has demanded that the Eurozone countries indemnify the Treasury against any losses that Britain would be forced to take on. But as it turns <laughs> out, if that European stability mechanism is forced to help open the banks, which have been closed for nearly two weeks now, you in the UK would be on the hook for about 15% of it, which I believe works out to be about seven to nine billion dollars, maybe even 11 billion euros. Yeah. Yeah, I think whichever way this cuts, it'll cost the UK taxpayer money. Um, and I'm obviously less than thrilled by that. Uh, the one really good piece of news is despite the fact our senior politicians and, and some of our big corporate businesses said we should join the euro, thank goodness we said no. Either way, Osborne represents the European political class. They're trying to keep Greece inside the euro. Greece needs to leave the euro to have any chance at all of recovering.